What's going on YouTube? So it Nation, back again with another video today. And today, we'll be looking at the Mavic Air 2. Fly more combo. Now I'm doing a voiceover because my background right now, recording or during this recording, was insane with the kids running around. And yeah, y'all already know I had to be on straight late night creep mode to get this video done. So I'm going ahead and unbox it with my handy dandy unboxing knife. tried to open it like you know you would the new MacBook Pros or any Apple product it gave me the same kind of vibe of opening this box up where I thought I could just slide it down like the new iPhones man you can just hold it and just slide it down but I forgot they had tape on here so I had to cut those off real quick so flipping it over again let's try this again I'm able to lift it up the box stays flat now that's what I call a great unboxing experience. And there it is. All right, so as you can see, get our first box open that's inside there. You got your propellers. This looks like your A propellers. See what else is in the box. You got some more propellers. The blue obviously is going to be your B for players. So as you can see, you got A and B. It'll say right on the on the packaging. Don't get them mixed up when you go to put them on your drone. Let's see if there's anything in there. Ah, nothing. All right. So then you got your your paperwork that you should read through thoroughly and carefully. That way you know how to operate your drone correctly. Opening up the package. First thing you see is your drone neatly packed. Then you have your charging hub. And you have a black mystery box. And then the controller. The new infamous controller. Oh, and a lot more pockets in there. That's kind of, I noticed that that was kind of neat that there was pockets in this black foam piece for your drone to rest on when it's inside the case. In case you decide you want to throw your bag on the ground, you have some cushion. Unzip the top pocket. More charging accessories. You have your extra sticks for your controller inside. And a charging cable and more cables. It comes pre-installed with a lightning to USB-C cable. Let's check and make sure I got everything out this bag. Let me check. There's some, it's a, couple, a lot of pockets and little crevice in here. Nope, just a tag. So let's take a look at the drone real quick. It's got a good weight to it, man. It's, it doesn't feel crazy heavy. It is smaller than the Mavic Pro that I came from, but as far as weight difference, you know, it's there. It's a small drone. It's light. It ain't, you know, nothing substantial. Very curious to see how it holds up against, you know, any kind of wind resistance or anything like that. And the controller, this is what I was most curious about, um, is the controller. Because as you know, the Mavic Pro, man, it's a lot smaller. The phone is mounted below you, so let's put the, put the sticks on there. And give it a little flickety flick and see how she feels in the hand. It's a, it's a real, real kind of, kind of weird and compact, but I kind of like it. We'll see once you know I get a couple of test flights in. As you can see, there's the antenna and your phone mount all in one. I like the cable management system in there. I have my Note 10 Plus. Go ahead and drop that in there with the case on, which is very nice because you couldn't use the case, or I couldn't use this case with my old drone controller. So yeah, it's. It's not bad. I like that the, the phone is mounted up top, man. I hate it looking farther down, you know. It's just nice to have it in my field of vision where it's upright. 
you know, the other ones, your phone will be clamped in there like a vice grip. So, as you see, I turned the phone around. That's what it was like with the old controller. It, it's kind of a weird setup. Some people like it, man. Some people love that setup. But me, man, it just, it just felt a little weird using it like that. But this feels a lot more natural and fluid. So, we'll see. I'll let you guys know how I like this controller going forward. Forgot to open up my extra batteries, man. This is one of the biggest reasons you get the Fly More Combo is for the batteries. And the second battery. That's it. Plug it, file it to the side. All right, so we got our propellers. We got everything out of the boxes. Let me take some of these out of the, the wrapping so y'all can see what it looks like. This is the new and improved um, battery charging system. And what I like about this the most is that it actually fits in the Flymore bag. So before I'd have to carry them separately because you couldn't fit that charging block inside the bag, you know, with the drone because there was just no space. But see how thin and you know, that thing is super thin. They can just go right in there. And then here's the ND filters. You get three of them. And here is if you ever need to charge your devices like a cell phone or an iPad, you can hook this up. It has two USB ports on it that would allow you to charge your devices off the DJI batteries, which I think is pretty dope because uh, <laughs> if you're getting down to the wire and you're out in the middle of nowhere and you need that extra battery, you got it. You got a little extra juice out there. But I'm gonna go ahead and drop the propeller zone real quick. Show y'all what it looks like, how to mount them. These propellers versus the the Mavic Pro, man, they they kind of flip up, kind of at the at the tip. The tip kind of flips up. It's it's definitely different. I'm really curious to see how people are saying it's very quiet when it flies. Of course, I get my drone late at night, so I can't go fly it immediately. But yeah, here is how you mount it. So as you can see, how it has the, the white on the propeller and on the, the white circle on the top. You wanna make sure those match. On this side, there's there's nothing. It's pretty much black on black. So you wanna make sure that you match the circles up at all times. So here's a new cover for the Mavic Air 2. It pops off. There's nothing in the middle or there's no second piece you gotta pull out behind the gimbal to take the cover off. You just gotta make sure the gimbal's facing straight and you can just pop it on and off. I, I really like that a lot because <laughs> I fought with the old gimbal so many times, putting the little brace in to hold the gimbal in place and then putting the cover on. And then they had the little plastic piece that you put on top of that that never stayed on. Yeah, this, this is smooth. And then you have your micro SD card slot, same spot as usual. Not much has changed there. And then on the other side, not a micro USB, but a USB type C connector port. So that's a nice change. I'm liking that everything is going to USB type C because that's supposed to be the new universal standard for a lot of devices going forward. So I'm glad to see DJI implemented it in the newer drones. What I'm gonna do is step outside. All right, y'all, so this is just a quick little unboxing. I'm gonna get more in depth with this drone, man, as I get more hands-on time with it. I'm gonna get it up in the air tomorrow and get some 4K 60 video for you, some raw photos, some, um, just some still shots, just playing around with the different cameras. And I'm gonna burn through probably three of these batteries, so I should have a good, you know, idea of 
whether I like to join or not, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it from based on what I've seen off the internet, but hey, you never know until you put it to the test. So if you want to check that video out, go and hit that like button, comment. If you got questions, what you want to see in the, ne the next video, and uh, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Swin Nation, y'all take it easy.